This is the 2024 MXZ XRS with competition package. Basically, it's the brand new sled for 2024 from ski -Doo. It is a Turbo R engine with water injection system. Also, it comes with your launch mode in the Gen 5 platform. It has a high performance four piston brake caliper with adjustable brake lever. KYB Pro 40 Kashima coated front shocks. 10.25 inch color touchscreen display with the BRP Connect. This has E-Tech shot starter only on this. So there is no battery on this. It is full start and then it does have your shot system which will start the machine after 30 minutes of runtime. This model is equipped with your two ply rip saw racing track. So if you want to stud this to get uh, your best hookup, obviously with all the horsepower that this has, you're going to want to stud this up. Uh, it also has your heavy duty reinforcement as well. So you do have uh, a heavy duty track tensioner and accelerated link rods and arm extensions as well. In the front, we have rack steering system, which is derived from the MXZX race sled. This will further increase your steering position and sh straight tracking for a nimble and predictable ride in extreme bumps. The 850 E-Tech Turbo R with water injection system sets new standards in lightweight two-stroke performance with the most horsepower that's delivered consistently. What we're going to do now is go over the new 10.25 gauge. Uh, this is the touchscreen gauge. has a lot of features on it that are new for this season and uh, a lot of customers might not be uh, familiar with the gauge and what is available on it. So let's start this up. So to navigate through this, it's very, very simple. On the left hand side here, we're going to have your miles per hour, your fuel gauge at the bottom down here, trip. As you can see, the break-in period is 99%. That will continue to decrease during your ride time, uh, around probably 500 miles that will go away. Basically, there is a chip in there that is uh, regulating the amount of uh, throttle and the amount of horsepower that you will get uh, until that chip breaks in. Then you'll have full control over that. And like I said, that's about 500 miles that that will take effect on. Uh, there is a digital temperature gauge on here as well. We also have a belt monitor as well, so you can actually track the temperature of your belt. So that's new for this year as well. We'll go down into here, navigate through. So you can connect your phone through Bluetooth if you want to. Also your media. So if you want to listen to music, you can do that as well. Statistics for your current ride. Uh, so you can track your average speed, the distance that you've traveled and how long you've traveled. If you want to go back here, vehicle. So this will show you all the vehicle information. For that, a touch of a button will give your VIN number, so if you ever need that, that's handy there as well. Uh, when we go back here, we can do faults as well. So if you're on the trail and you have a code or anything pop up, you can just clearly go into your fault section. It'll tell you what's going on and what the issue is, and then you can know if you're uh, able to still continue to ride or not, or if you got to shut it down for the day. Procedures, this is for your summarization. So it's very easy now to summarize these that push of a button before there was a configuration that you had to do with the buttons on the handlebar. Now it's just simple push of a button. Uh, for preferences in here, so you can change the appearance of your actual screen. Uh, you can connect to your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, uh, and then your applet switcher. This is basically what's on your home screen. So you can change all those different applets on there so you can easily navigate through them. Um, same with ride settings. You can actually put your launch mode in here as well. Uh, let's go back to here. So navigation, this will have GPS. You will have to download BRP Go. Once you do that on your phone, you can connect your phone with the USB port and you'll be able to have GPS and track your rides on there. Uh, prior to your rides, if you want to navigate the trail or your trip, you can do that as well. So all you have to do is plug it in and it'll tell you where to go. So it's very easy to do. Last but not least, controls here. So you can control your heated grips plus your uh, thumb ratio. So uh, all at a click of a button, you can go back to your main screen here. This is your launch mode. So if it's very cold out where you don't want to take your gloves off if you're riding, you never have to actually touch the screen, but uh, it can be controlled all through the controls here on the left-hand side. This is the first two-stroke turbo that Skidoo has released in a trail sled. It is actually going to be running off of your ice, which is an intake cooling enhancer. 
Uh, basically what that is, is it's a sophisticated blend of methanol and filtered water, uh, which is specially formulated for this machine. So it does run on this uh, and it is necessary in order to run this machine. So it is uh, something that's new. Skidoo came out with this to compete with the Polaris Boost, which I think this will give the Boost the run for its money. And that's your 2024 Skidoo MXZ XRS 850 Turbo R.